Okay, Victor Alistar versus Cinna Jinx. Interesting. Ooh, baby. Pretty disgusting CC combo. We don't want to get Alistar WQ'd into a Victor trap. That's actually just a death sentence. Olaf's on this side of the map. Need to, if they if they start going this way, it means Olaf stepped on a ward and he's about to get two v three. So we need to start rotating this way like as fast as possible. Wow, that Victor range is kind of stupid. Get the souls that I can. I can really only farm souls when I'm not in range of Alistar. So if I find myself on the same side of the lane as Victor and Alistar is over here, that's really the only time I can like get far farm souls. How do you know where the enemy jungler is without vision? Well, you can usually have a rough, rough estimate by understanding which buff they started. And then general sides or uh, uh, general like paths and timings of scuttle crab and using the vision that you have to understand where they're not, which is just as important. Reading body language of your enemy laners, like they're gonna step up if they've got a jungler, right? They're gonna all of a sudden want to fight really, really hard, right? Oh no, my Cole Soraka top. Oh no. Gimme, gimme. Ah, uh, that happened a little faster than I thought it would. Oopsies. Uh, Jinx. Traps, 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 traps. Hello? Did she already use them? Must have been down, right? Top. Wow, the balls on this Soraka to not flash. Respect. Play some music. Nope, we're gonna try to focus for this game. I'm already inting, so I need to need to need to try. Keep my head in the game. Keep me, keep me, keep me, keep me, keep my head in the game. Welcome to uh, play music on your end, though. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can stop their back. I did, I did. I can stop that back again. Cain top again? At least the Soraka is absorbing all this pressure and only dying once. Soraka, you good? She's good, dude. 
That's a big wave. Don't want to fight in that. I got spooked with him walking all the way up there. I thought maybe his jungler was here. That was close to a death. This is such like a I can't <laughs> I can't make any mistakes, Lane. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine, buddy. Some prayers for Roxy. Thank you, Yanny. Let's go, dude. Let's go, dude. Let's go, dude. Oh, I did not mean to take that. On God. On on God. I did not mean to take that. Let's see if I can stop his back. I cannot. Almost, though. Well. That sucks. Because I don't even get a power spike item. I can't buy my boots. Why'd you guys not turn immediately? Uh, well, I missed my W. I didn't expect the cane to flash, and because- Oh, shh, buddy. That was such a bad place to back. Really kind of fucked us there, man. On Alistar, we were trying to give it to Jinx. But she started getting spooked, because she had like 10 HP, and she started pinging it, so we turned- and took the kill. But yeah, we were, we were trying to give it to our hyper carry ADC that unfortunately has no kills. At least I get my umbral now. There's a silver lining there. I, I should have ulted. If I if I was paying attention there, I could have ulted and saved Corky. I've I've actually stopped like ulting globally like a lot i i do it like once every other game now whereas before i was alting globally like every single game but the amount of time that it like actually turns the swing of the fight is very very low so i usually just alt for damage in lane but that was actually a rare opportunity where I, sh I should have ulted uh... free assist money. Oh, it's not worth it though. It's two and a half minute cooldown, and it's such a good ult if you can like guarantee hitting the damage. Like if I land a W on this Victor and she and Jinx gets trap traps, we can kill her with my ult. Alistar has flash up again. <laughs> They're just cheese in a bush. Yeah, they're they're looking to make plays here. If we don't if we don't make plays, we win this lane. This is not a lane where I can just like farm souls. Unfortunately. Like actually harass them and kill them. He went blue cane. Blue cane my oh no. Dude. Sucks, man. Victor flashed out of my ulti. We could have gotten Jinx resets. Could have gotten so much done there. If I just hit one of these W's, this would be a very different game. I got that one. Okay. There with the slow, hit him with the heal. No way this guy gets a kill. Woo! He almost got a kill. Could have killed Victor. How why did you back? How the fuck was I going to kill him? 
I was never going to catch him. Is it not worth the ult for assist gold? No, if you're not actually turning the tide of the fight. Like, let's say our top laners are 1v1ing. And your ult isn't actually going to make the difference between your your top laner surviving or getting that kill. It is not worth it to ult for assist gold. Absolutely not. But you just said you were done fighting. So why did you immediately fight? Alright. Well, at this point, it's not even my fault. Now, I, I did get caught once in laning phase. That, that one was definitely my fault. But I think Jinx is getting caught, like, a little too much. It's all good. We got Dragon Lead. We got Turret Lead. I've got a lot of kills on me. Like, that's not super ideal, but... Alright. Got ulti, so we should win our next team fight. We fight like a 3v3 or 5v5 or some shit. Like, we should win this. We're gonna go Yomos. Just because I've got a lot of... I feel like there's a lot of carry pressure on me this game. I would go Edge of Night, but... I think Yomus might be the play. Okay, our Soraka has 53 CS. She's scaling, though. She's scaling. I appreciate you. Awesome, Jim. Take it easy, ma'am. That's the play, baby. That's the play right there, boys. Now, can you imagine if I had ulted for assist gold there? And I didn't have my ulti to turn that? It would have been disastrous. Oh, no. This Alistar is pretty good. Honestly, pretty good. I mean, he's no Aoki. But, uh, he's pretty good. Alright, take their entire jungle. Or at least one camp. Okay. I need 100 gold before Yomus. Yo, 100G. Can I have a wolf? I need a wolf. Can I have one? Can I have this wolf? My man. And we got a, we got a, we got a haul tail to a, to dragon. We want to keep that dragon lead for sure. Okay, I'll have. A oh wait, I'm not even close to getting Yomos. What was I talk? What, what was I smoking? What, what in the world? Oh well, we get that and we get a stopwatch. I think I thought I said 1600 gold. It was actually 1800 gold. That's right. Stopwatch will be good for us for me. I've got a pretty big shutdown on me, anyways. Hmm. Okay. Not the best ult. I thought they would go in there. They ran away. Is 
some chunk in these these wards. Get that nice juicy Drake on. And I need 400 for Yomus. You start looking at opening up tier 1 top. Oh yeah, if you don't know why people are pinging Hex Flash and Flash. When a, when a champion like Alistar or Leona or Thresh or someone is using Hex Flash rune. You can tell their Flash is down. Because it'll be replaced by Hex Flash. So when someone pings their flash, what that usually means is that they used flash, right? But when you're pinging on a hex flash champion, it means they have flash. It means it's up. So it's kind of backwards, but... Well, goodbye, my shutdown. At least it went on Alistar. I'd rather go on Alistar than Syndra. About to be massive. That's good to know. Still can't get Yomu's. Oh, we just wasted our drink salt for vision. <laughs> Alright, I definitely haven't played this game perfectly, but I think I'm having a somewhat pretty good performance this game. Outside of my early int late or early game early int and lane. What was that? What did she just get spooked by? Was that set? Or Kane? It was Kane. This guy's rooted. This guy this guy's still rooted, he's still rooted. Okay, it's Alistar Alt. Can do this. Keep her eye on Kane. I'm looking at Corky. Oh baby! Oh, run him down, boys! <laughs> Olaf. What was that flash, bro? We don't we don't want we we don't want to overextend here. The only way we lose this game is if we overextend and throw. We don't do that, we win this game. Grab package, we could just fight for soul. Uh I'm going Zonius this game. Some people some people say building Zonius is kinda of troll and Senna. I honestly think it's pretty Pretty good item for third. You don't ever want to build it like first or second or anything, but the AP ratios don't go to waste because you still it's still uh it's still uh you scale with AP. And against basically playing against two uh, assassins, but Okay, it's not a good time to fight Jinx. We might have lost Dragon off that. Victor's top, but he probably has Teleport. Unless we get a pick here. Oh lord. Yeah, we're gonna have to give Dragon. Which really kind of sucks. 
Oh my god, this this is gonna kill me. Holy lord, I just live with four HP. Okay, I got Victor's Flash. Guys. Okay. Interesting game, dude. Very interesting game. Let's go, Corky! That's my man right there! Okay, that's Syndra's stun. Can I run her down? Huh. Huh. So sad. I don't have a ward to sniper either. That's so sad. <laughs> My health went down to 0% there. Holy lord. So, some of you watching may be thinking like, why did you stay when you had literally 0% health? But if you saw, I was still useful to that fight. If you just know the limitations of your characters, know how close you can stand, even if you have 0% health, you can still affect a fight. It's called presence. Presence. Just don't ever put yourself at risk of getting hit by things. Stay near, you know, skirt around the edge of a fight. Especially with a long range champ like Senna. Can always be useful. It's a difficult concept to like teach because it, like how how much presence you can have as a champion ch is constantly changing and is different from every champion. Half of your chat is going to enter next game. I mean, if that's what it takes for them to learn, I mean, yeah, you're going to screw up sometimes. You're going to stick around, you're going to die, and you're going to be like, man, why did I stay? Wait, why are we doing this? Why are we doing this? Get off this. Get off this. Stop. 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 This is the only way we lose. Yeah, this is absolutely not a, a barren play. Didn't get it. I just need to dump the alt, man. Cool, good rundown, Olaf. Heal up my boy. The cane alt get out, just keep autoing, get my Q cooldown lower. That's just, uh, he's just kind of bot. That was my kill, my friend. I earned that one. Rooted? Oh, he still got to go inside her, dude. No, how are you gonna do me like that, dude? That's all right. I got my zonias. I got my zonias. All right, now we go edge of night. Look how broken this rune is. Presence of mind. I have restored 3,882 3, mana this game. That was weird. Later, dude. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Hey, that right there is why this champion never gets old.
You know that set was like, hey, hey, I got Jinx's Flash, and I'm still gonna get out of here. I'm one cool cat. I love surviving. It's my favorite thing about being alive. Ah! Hey, hey, yo, Ali. Remember when Alistar hit us with the lol nice team comp? Yo, Ali. Nice team comp, dude. Oh. Remember when we hit us with that? that was a, those are good times with those alley. Back when you thought you were gonna win. Alley is good. Honestly, Alistar is definitely their best player. But you you don't you don't get to run that mouth without me running it back. Okay. Toxic. You know what's funny is I, I there was another game where someone like put a question mark in the in the all chat when they were winning the enemy team did and then I did it back to them at the end of the game when we won and someone in my YouTube comment section actually said I'm toxic. He said I couldn't stand to watch you be so toxic. I put a single question mark back to the person that did it to me. Toxic, by the way. Anyways, hopefully you guys learned something. From the uh, rank one Senna. Hey, we're in promos again. Look at that, boys. Okay, Cor Corky kind of did a lot of damage, but if you don't, if you if you exclude Corky, I did more damage than their entire team and my team. Not bad, boys. Hey, and guess what else? Guess what else, guys? Guess what else? It's time to unlock Pulse Fire Senna, boys. Oh, oh wait. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. Okay, not that one. Not that one. This one. How do I get it? Oh, prestige points? This is what I need, right? Prestige points, boom. And then Senna. <gasps> we did it! Let's go, boys! Let's go! True dam damage Senna Prestige Edition. Unlock permanently. Sin a squad in the chat, fellas.